What is going on guys? Welcome to the next part and the last part in the Shande Momentum Oscillator tutorial mini series within our Python Stocks and Mathematics Grand Series. Where we left off, we were calculating the uh, CMO within Python. Now let's actually chart up the CMO within Python. If you don't already have the starter code, please visit the link in the description. Scroll down just a bit to sample code with empty slot. Click on that bad boy. And here uh, is where the sample code is. So just go ahead and highlight it. Scroll all the way down. Copy that. Move this aside. And paste it into like an empty uh, script here. So I'll paste this one. And in this code, we will do all the editing. If you scroll up a little bit, I made these little two little comments. All the programming goes in between these little two comments here uh, to make things nice and easy for you guys. So once you have that, go back to where we actually programmed this. And you'll want to just take the entire uh, calculation. We don't need this, but basically this all the way up to the top of where we define CMO. Copy that. Come back over to this script. And we would normally put it at the top, but I'm not going to bother doing that right now. We're going to go all the way down here and just paste it right in here. Now we need to fix our indent. So come up here, indent, indent. And now we're fixed on the indent. Lastly, let me go ahead and align this on our on the screen, right? Cool. Okay, so now the indicator's here. It's being called, I'm going to go ahead and say CMOX for X, CMOI for Y. Um, then we're going to go ahead and do ax2.plot uh, and cmox and then we always do a minus sp colon if you want to know why check out the uh, charting stocks in python tutorial series cmoy minus sp and then finally we want it to be a white line uh, then we're going to go ahead and do plot y label and we're going to say this is a cmo10 and the color is white of that text. So uh, that should be all we need to do. So let's go ahead and run it. And that should bring up this. We'll plot uh, Apple again Move it over here. And here is our chart uh, with um, with just the line. Now, if you recall in the uh, other video that I was showing you guys, we had a horizontal line here, another line here, and then we also, I was going to show you, and at the zero mark there was a line. And then I was also going to show you the simple moving average stuff. So let's go ahead and do that. So it'll kind of be like this RSI line up here. So now that we've done that, let me just close out of this. And we're going to go ahead and add those horizontal lines first. So to do that, it's just pretty simple. It's ax2.axh line. Where do you want that h line? At the 50. What color do you want it to be? That's a red, right? So that would indicate an overbought situation. I'm just going to do paste, paste here. Uh, this will be a zero. This will be a negative 50. This will be a green. And then we'll just make this a white. So this would be the oversold um, scenario. And then just kind of like that neutral line. So now let's go ahead and plot that again. We'll chart up an apple again. And so now you see that we have uh, the colored horizontal lines. Now the last thing I want to show you guys is how to apply that simple moving average to this line. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. So let's just do that underneath this Y label definition. And what we're going to say is SMA sig for the uh, signal line equals moving average uh, CMOV 20. If you don't know how to make a simple moving average, this is referencing a function that we've built in this uh, charting application right here. Not only is this covered in our Python charting stocks tutorial series, I also do have a video covering that simple moving average in this series as well, if you want to know more about that. Um, otherwise, we're just going to call it. We're going to give it a, you know, we're going to use the, uh, oops, this should be uh, the uh, Y line, C MOI. And uh, we're going to apply 20 simple moving average to it. And then we're going to go ahead and plot it. So we're going to say ax2.plot. Um, CMOX, SMA SIG, and again we want to do that minus SP colon to it. Um, so here as well, minus SP colon. And then we are going to change the color to C for cyan. Save that, run that. 
again we'll plot of apple since that's what we've been using and now we've applied a 20 simple moving average to that line as well use it like a signal line so that's going to conclude the uh, Shande momentum oscillator tutorial video uh, mini series here uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed hopefully you learned something new as always thanks for watching thanks for all the support and the subscriptions and until next time